Shaggers Legends, how the hell are you, mate? With the Asia Cup just around the corner, I've decided to brutally rate every single home kit that we will see at the tournament. Kicking us off with Australia, mate. See, I don't like this already because this is exactly the same kit that Australia wore at the 2022 World Cup. I know it's within, what, the last eight, it's not even 18 months. It's a year. It's a year and it's two completely separate tournaments. And if England rocked up in the same kit as what they did at 2022 for the Euros in the summer, I would be beside myself, mate. So I can't I can't rate this over a 5 out of 10, mate. Bahrain, I actually don't mind this, to be honest with you, mate. The nice little like pattern in the middle as well. I love the fact that they've got the national flag on one side and, of course, the Bahrain national football team on the other one. I thought that the middle, the middle looked a bit too bare. But what you've got to remember is a number is going to go in that position. I'm giving this 7 out of 10. China, Nike. Uh, what do I think of this? Average as hell. Like I, I like the sleeves. I like the sleeves, the red and the yellow blending in nicely. I actually think the crest looks really nice as well. There's just nothing really sort of like extravagant with this kit. There's not really any nice sort of like patterning or any nice prints or whatever you call it. Five out of ten China. And I slag off Nike kits quite a lot. It's just Nike just need to up their game in a lot of kits that they make and release. Hong Kong, um, back with Nike again. It's a bit training top-esque. Nothing really actually stands out to me. If I was making this kit, I would see what they've done with the bottom of the sleeves there, put the white there. I would have put that around the neck and the collar as well, just to make it stand out. And of course, if you see that like, around the shoulders, which I was mentioning that template there, I would probably put white thread around that as well, because it breaks it up a little bit and it makes it stand out. But still, it looks a little bit like a training kit Hong Kong and I apologize but it's a five out of ten very average so far what in the my god has what is this what is this India per perfro perfro max manufacturer I can't I can barely even read it I've never even seen that shirt manufacturer before in my life 1.4 billion people in India and this is all that they can make. I know that football isn't the number one sport and probably the priority in India with how big cricket is in the country. But this is absolutely shocking. This is shocking. I wouldn't even want my own worst enemy to wear this in, in, in pure humiliation. I think this is just humiliating enough, to be honest with you, mate. The pattern at the bottom is the only saving grace about this kit. Blue and gold, and I believe that is gold or bronze, just does not work. Or orange, probably coinciding with the flag. It does not work in this. It doesn't work. I don't understand why. So obviously you've got orange, white and green as the India flag. Why don't you just try and make something like that? People will probably say, oh, India have just copied Ireland. I just don't think blue works well with this at all. It looks like something your mate would wear down five aside. It looks like a fake knockoff kit. And it's, it's, it's I hate to be disrespectful, but this is shocking. One person out of 1.4 billion people could create something better than this. It looks like it's been made by a five-year-old on Microsoft Paint. It's that bad. It's terrible. I'm giving this... A 2 out of 10. I am so, so sorry. Nike, Adidas, Puma, whoever, sponsor India. Make their shirts for them because this is completely unacceptable. And this screams a finishing bottom of the group. Indonesia and another, another red kit already. I am bang in love with this kit. I'm going to get it straight out there. And from first look, I'm giving this an instant 10 out of 10, mate. I love this kit. The red and the pattern in the middle. And the nice little prints there. The Mills. I've never seen Mills shirt manufacturer before as well. But it almost looks like a Roman sort of uh, gladiator helmet. What? Mask. Helmet. Helmet. It's a helmet. It's not a mask, is it? It's a helmet. You've seen Gladiator before, Harry. You've seen Gladiator. Sorry, that was just my other personality getting involved there. You know the rules, mate. You know the rules, mate. If you've watched this before, a collar gets an instant 10 out of 10 for me. And they've done this just so, so 
well. The sleeves, the white on the sleeves, the white on the collar, the nice little sort of red lines going down into the V and on the collar as well. It is perfect. And I love the crest. The bird in the middle, the black and the gold work so nicely with each other and everything just works so bloody deliciously. Iran, training kit, boring average. So average, three out of 10. Iraq, do you know what? This is actually a banging kit, mate. Adidas have smashed this out of the park. People will say it looks like something someone would wear to fire the side, but it's the pattern that makes it look better, mate. It's the pattern that makes it look better. The Iraq badge is actually quite small, but it doesn't matter. I love the neck as well. The neck with the green and the white. If it just had that on the sleeves, it would be better. Would you probably change having sort of like the black lines in the middle? I, if, if I was making the shirt, I would probably make the black lines white just to make it stand out and make it a little bit more funky. Iraq have released an unbelievable kit here, mate, and I'm giving them a seven out of 10. And I know people will say, if it didn't have the lines, you'd be picking this up in Sports Direct probably right you're probably right but it's the little changes that you make to these sort of template kits that make it look better iraq seven out of ten well done japan wore this at the world cup in qatar mate so you know the rules around this it's a lovely kit it's an absolutely outrageous kit but i can't give this over a five out of ten if they dropped this fresh for the asian cup and didn't wear this for the world cup then we would probably be edging towards a nine eight nine and probably even a 10 out of 10 but with this being the case mate i can't put it over a five out of 10 because adidas should have released a new kit for another major competition jordan basic any kit that has um jacko on it is just rubbish jacko kappa all of them awful 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 shirt sponsors manufacturers whatever you want to call them mate there's nothing in this that makes me want to wear it this is the sort of football kit you would see in the lost property bin at school two out of ten right i'm going to try and get my pronunciations correct Kyrgyzstan, Kyrgyzstan. um another red kit i don't know how many red kits we've already seen but this is getting absolutely ridiculous mate i'm not a fan i don't really like how overpowering the yellow is on the v-neck it's just it's a bit like a highlighter mate and it does look like someone's made this on photoshop or paint it looks like it's been made by a five-year-old two out of ten lebanon mate uh, this is another red kit but lebanon have absolutely smashed the granny out of this this is an unbelievable piece of kit by Kel me if it didn't have the pattern it'd be very basic and it wouldn't get the high rating of seven out of ten do you know what mate do you know what who, I, who was it hong kong that pretty much had exactly the same kit as this but in red as soon as you turn it into yellow it's unbelievable mate that is an unbelievable piece of kit if there's anyone anyone in malaysia that has this kit and wants to send it to me i will give you my address straight up i will post it on the internet this is an unbelievable piece of kit and i'm giving it a seven out of ten. Oh my god what did i say about kappa what did i say about kappa and what was the jacko was the other one that i put in there this stinks and guess what it's another red kit mate i'm done i'm absolutely done two out of ten palestine another red kit tempo i've never heard of them but do you know what i actually really like the patterning down the middle as well i'm such a sucker for some patterning but the only thing that i would change on this palestine is and i say it all the time i would put a bit of white on the red collar maybe sort of like make it sort of like a white line going through and probably do the same with the bottom of the sleeves as well and the patterning going down i'd make two white lines as well i don't think it gets over a six out of ten for palestine qatar i can't give it over a five out of ten because i believe that this is the shirt that they wore at the 2022 qatar world cup now we're talking now we are talking saudi arabia this is absolutely outrageously beautiful this is a kit that i want to see most nations release i'm going straight for it mate and giving this a 10 out of 10 it's beautiful saudi unbelievable another red kit <laughs> oh my god this has to be like nine 
This has to be like nine out of 24 kits are red. They wore it at the World Cup. They wore it at the World Cup. I was about to wax lyrical about this, but they wore it at the World Cup. Instant five out of 10, mate. And it's so unbelievably sexy. I love it so much. And it kills me that I have to give this a five out of 10. Syria, Jacko. I'm not even going to waste my time speaking about this kit. One out of 10. Tajikistan, I also put that in the same bracket as well, mate, because there's no thought that's got into this. It is very basic. It is very plain. Macron, what have you done? One out of 10. Thailand, um, what do I actually think about this Thai kit, man? I Three button polo top, collar, you know, gets an instant 10 out of 10. Maybe if you put a gold number, sort of like six or seven, I'll drop it down on the left. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. I actually rate that. I'm not sure about three buttons, though. I think you only just need one, and the rest of it can be stitched up. I'm going to give this... I said that collars get an instant 10 out of 10, but it's not a 10 out of 10 kit, I'm afraid, because the buttons are just ruining it for me. I'm giving this a 7 out of 10. The United Arab Emirates. It is so, so boring. This, this is the sort of template kit that you would see in Sports Direct. I have nothing more to say about this other than this is a 3 out of 10. Uzbekistan. I slagged off Jacko quite a bit, but if this is Uzbekistan's actual kit for the Asian Cup, then I'm a fan, mate. Jacko have smashed the absolute granny out of this one, mate. The pattern and the, it looks like stars that are in the middle of it. It's perfect. Everything about this is perfect. Would I wear it? Probably actually not on second thoughts after I've given it a bit more of a look in. I like how creative they've been in the middle of the park. I don't really like that the Jacko is there. I don't like that the badge is there. And I don't like another badge is there as well. Five out of ten is bang average. I don't know why I hyped it up so much. And finally, Vietnam and our 12th red kit of the Asian Cup, mate. That means that half of the teams go into the Asian Cup wear a red kit. It's absolutely disgraceful, in my opinion, mate. Get rid. Get gone. Make some new kits. Get more creative. I don't even know who this shirt manufacturer is. I don't even like it. I don't like anything about this. Yes, the pattern in the, in the middle is quite cool. I just don't. It just looks tight and uncomfortable. and <clears throat> don't like the V-neck whatsoever as well. 2 out of 10. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section just down below. Which was your favourite? Which was your least favourite? And did I get any wrong? Oh, and by the way, mate, remember to like and subscribe just down below. Let's try and get this video to 100 likes.